Hi, I'm Lynn, the creator of Dearly Loved, a place for faith, family, fun, and a whole lot of Disney. Thanks for joining me today on Dearly Diary, where I want to talk to you about thingamabobs. Yep, I have 20-ish great souvenir ideas for your next trip to Walt Disney World. Some of these will work for Disneyland, too, but these are specific to the parks at the Walt Disney World uh, Resort in Florida. And I've broken them down into different categories. My first category is ways to get your kids involved. My first tip is these uh, passport books that you can use for Epcot in Disney World. And you can buy these passport books uh, for around $12 at the Gateway to the World Showcase. Or you can make them, and there's lots of ideas on how to make them. You can go on to Pinterest and find all kinds of printable um, pages for a passport book. This one is, I don't remember exactly where I downloaded these items from, but I went to my local copy shop and had them bind them for me. The kids loved getting their uh, countries stamped in each of the different countries. And then the cast members are actually from their respective countries and they would write on them in their own language and the kids just had a really fun time this one's Japan a really fun time collecting these in Epcot and it made a great souvenir my second souvenir idea is if your kids or you like to get autographs is to make an autograph pillowcase so we took in a white pillowcase and my tip for you is to get um, clicky sharpies. They're really easy for the characters to use and you're not messing with caps. You can sometimes find the clicky sharpies at uh, Walmart or I will put a link up to the Sharpie website for you to find out where to purchase these. They were really convenient. And my second tip for an autograph pillowcase are these spring loaded springy embroidery hoops. They're hard to find, but they made a great writing surface on the autograph pillowcase. So I would just put the, while we were in line, I would just get the um, pillowcase ready for the character and I would just go ahead and spring load your, put your little springy thing inside the embroidery hoop and then you have a taut surface for the character to be able to write on. They can hold the hoop and then they have a surface to be able to put their autograph on. And it worked out really well. So I'll put a link up on where to find these spring-loaded embroidery hoops um, on my website after this video. So that's the autograph pillowcase. Another idea for a souvenir would be if you have a pin trader in your family. My son, my oldest son, has been involved in pin trading now for a few years at the Disneyland Resort and now at Walt Disney World, pins make a great gift idea to give to your pin trader and then they can have lots of fun uh, participating in that at the parks. My next category is cultural interests and this really um, is great for souvenirs at Epcot. Again in the World Showcase. My boys um, bought these hats in China and somehow we got them home. Um, that was a trick in and of itself. But they wore these several days, both in Epcot, they wore them to Animal Kingdom, and they got so many comments on them, and they just made a great souvenir for the boys, and it was great sun protection too. At the, uh, These are just some ideas of what you can find in the World Showcase. There's this little gateway area. It's almost like an African gateway area in the World Showcase towards the back. And I got these uh, great bracelets and necklaces, bracelets, anklets. And they came in these, this is the bag that they came in. They used an old park map and they put them in this bag. And what it is, is they send old park maps and brochures to Africa, and people in that country make these great beaded bracelets out of them. This was my cousin's favorite souvenir that I brought back to her uh, from our Disney World trip. Or I have a abnormal, probably, fascination with uh, the UK 
um, England. And so I had to get myself a little something from uh, the UK section of Epcot at Disney World. So any cultural interests you might have, that's a great place to buy souvenirs, to focus yourself and buy souvenirs while you're on your trip at Disney World. My next category is items that you can wear. Those are make great souvenirs. If you, um, I love to, every time I fold this shirt for my boys, I smile. It says, if you're happy and you know what, clap your, oh, <laughs> Tyrannosaurus. I laugh every time I fold this. This was a shirt we bought at um, back in the dinosaur section of Animal Kingdom for one of my boys. Another one of my boys loves Donald Duck. So a baseball cap, something that you can wear at home. It just has a lot of Donald Duck on it. Um, another item that you can wear that's great to buy is a scarf if you like scarves. I usually buy at least one scarf on my trips. Hair products, so hair clippies you can buy. I'm wearing one today if you can see it with a little Mickey head on it. Hair clippies, they have them for little girls too, although I use these. I wear them too, little um, Mickey heads. Those make great souvenir ideas. My next category are items that you can use at home. I love basin products and they used to have a great basin store at Disneyland's downtown Disney and then they got rid of it. Um, now they have two basin stores at Walt Disney World and I would recommend if you can if you're on your trip to Disney World picking these little goodies up. They have soaps with Mickey heads in them. They're just a lot of fun. They smell great. They have bath bombs with Mickey heads in them. Um, you can pick those up at either the uh, Walt Disney World downtown Disney store. The basin store there is quite a bit larger than the other location which is located in the Grand Floridian Resort at Walt Disney World. Another item that you can use while you're at home are these great candles from a company, an online company. Um, I just love, she has so many different Walt uh, or Disney uh, scents. This one's practically perfect, glass slipper. I've purchased probably 20 to 25 different uh, scents of hers and I've just loved them all. They're so much fun and I'll put that link up on my website after this video as well. Another item that's great to use at home is maybe a picture frame. So you can buy a special picture frame for your family. I like to buy four by six size because those are easy to just go into any, um, your Walgreens anywhere and print out uh, a quick shot from your, your phone or your camera and fits nicely into a four by six frame. I lost my list here, sorry. Here we go. Oh, another item that you can use at home would be a bag. So I loved this one. We I use this a lot. So a bag, any bag that you like from the parks, very useful at home. Those are my tips on items you can use at home. Individual interests. So if you have a young one, or an adult who's interested in Star Wars. So many options for you. My uh, husband and my three kids all made their own droids um, at the uh, near Star Tours in Disney's Hollywood Studios. They also have uh, a great Star Wars shop in Disneyland too. So for people with special interests, Star Wars, you can find great souvenirs. Just think of what your kids love and what special interests they have. My middle son loves anything to do with Duffy. So we found lots of great Duffy products on our last trip. Another thing that was really fun for the kids, they have a fantastic two-story, well, fantastic or completely obnoxious, two-story Build-A-Bear at the um, downtown Disney shop at the Disneyland Resort with just an array of great um, character products to dress your bears in there, your stuffed animal. At Downtown Disney in Walt Disney World, attached to the T-Rex Cafe, is a Build-A-Dino, and it was fun. My kids 
all of my kids made a dinosaur. This is my uh, oldest son's uh, Tyrannosaurus with sunglasses. And my daughter made a really cute pterodactyl, a, a mama pterodactyl, and then a baby pterodactyl, and there was this little nest. My middle son made a great Brachiosaurus. So that was a lot of fun and something different to do at Disney World. And last, I want to talk to you about unique items that you can purchase for your Disney World trip souvenir um, ideas. My first one is, um, and you can get these at Disneyland too, these, now I'm going to probably say this name wrong, it's Ozlewski is the designer, and they have these, they're all around $20, so reasonably priced these great little boxes and I picked these up over the years this one's the Matterhorn and then I have a practically perfect in every way Mary Poppins box that I love and then um, I had one uh, trip for my husband's 40th birthday we actually ate a special dinner at the Golden Horseshoe at the Disneyland Resort so I picked up a Golden Horseshoe box to remember that trip so these are great way this is a great way to remember a special memory from your Disney land Disney World trip these little boxes and they have a ton of different designs they have Star Wars designs they have all sorts of attractions just really for any interest just about you can find one of those boxes for around twenty dollars or so another great tip that I have for a souvenir idea that I did for my kids this last trip was I bought them Disney dollars and they come in denominations of I believe just a one a five and a ten and you can buy these at City Hall at the Magic Kingdom in Disney World and that's the when you go under the railroad um, tracks on Main Street at the Magic Kingdom if you go to your left you'll see City Hall so it's not Town Hall on the other side of Main Street at City Hall and you can go on in and purchase Disney dollars and my kids loved using these to buy their own souvenirs at the parks and you can use them they're just they feel like real money and you can use them just about anywhere in the parks you can even use them in the restaurants um, and they're just a lot of fun. We had some left over amazingly, so I thought I'd show those to you. It was a great idea for souvenirs at Disney World. My last tip is the Pick a Pearl um, location at Japan in Epcot, the World Showcase in Epcot. And before we left on our trip, I bought pearl cages for myself and my daughter. I'll show you what I'm talking about here, and I'll, I'll include this link. Um, I bought a Cinderella pearl cage for myself and my daughter, and they come on this chain, and I have to say the chain is, well, it's too short for myself, so I bought um, a, a different chain for my pearl cage to go on. I actually got a this silver chain at Walmart for 12 bucks so that was that's a great option if you get your pearl cage and you don't like the length of the chain you can always go I went to the Walmart jewelry section and just got a $12 sterling silver chain there for my pearl cage so the the chain it comes with is really pretty cheaply made actually my daughter's um, lost her first pearl cage because the clasp came undone and then since then on one of the other necklaces, the, the lobster claw clasp has actually come off completely. So while the necklace is pretty cheaply made, I'd suggest picking up your pearl cages before you go on your trip if you're going to do the pick a pearl in Japan. Because if you order them online from the link that I'll give you on my website, they're like $6 for the pearl cages. They have the exact same pearl cages in the parks and they're around $50. So fantastic idea if you're going to do the pick a pearl to get your cages before you go. You don't have to buy a cage, but if you'd like to do that to hold your pearl in, it's much better to order online before you leave for your trip. And what the pick a pearl is, they have this ceremony in Japan where you, um, you, pick out your own oyster and then they open it for you and they bang on drums while they do it. it. The kids really enjoyed it. My middle son actually got a pearl that had 
I mean, I'm sorry, an oyster that had two pearls in it. That was exciting. And um, so anyway, when my, my sons found out that my daughter and I wanted to do the pick a pearl in Japan, they're like, I want to pick a pearl too. So, which was a little odd to me, but I went back on the same site where I got the Cinderella carriage um, cages from, and they had these these skull and crossbone pearl cages. I hope you can see that. They came on the same silver necklace I showed you before, and I just didn't want my boys to have silver necklaces. It just didn't seem very manly. So I actually made these um, black corded necklaces for their skull and crossbone pearl cages, and it worked out really nicely for that. That was, this is probably, my son wore this um, every day after he got it, and it was just a really unique and fun souvenir idea. If you have any interest in these black corded necklaces for um, a boy's pick a pearl cage, go ahead and email me. You can find my email link, link my contact information on my website, and I'd be happy to talk to you about that. I think that wraps it up for my 20-ish ideas for Great souvenir choices at Walt Disney World. Some you can find at the Disneyland Resort as well. I want to leave you with a Bible verse on the perfect gifts sometimes that we receive in our lives from God. And this verse is in James chapter 1, verse 17. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. That's nice to know. I'll go ahead and leave you for now. I hope you found those ideas for your next Disney trip, souvenir ideas useful, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.